Hello, Michelle. I'm so excited to have you here as a guest. So for all of you watching, just say hello to Michelle. She is one of my customers that has been very successful in using Microsoft Teams and SharePoint and OneNote and OneDrive, that whole Microsoft 365 suite in really applying what that suite gives you to her business. Michelle, why don't you say a couple of words about um, who you are and what your business is about and why you decided you wanted to learn about Microsoft Teams? Sure. So yeah, I started looking into this, uh, I guess, over a year ago. It's been a year now since we started this and uh, I was looking for a solution where I could communicate better with my team um, where we could do some dispatching and have a centralized location for document storage uh, we were finding that there was just everything everywhere formatting was terrible because everybody had a different older version we have a really big safety program with i think 565 documents oh wow so to try and get those streamlined in one place where i could share them restrict access um especially the editing yeah um, or if i wanted to share something with a customer to be able to track who's seeing what and remove access um and then as far as teams goes just to get a better better control on my documentation. I really like the idea of being able to be um, in control of mm -hmm. the storage of who sees what. Mm -hmm. And um, I've created teams for everybody. I've got a team for my finance people. I've got a team for the bank. I've got a team for marketing. So my yeah. marketing um, company has access to that team. That's where yeah. we share any pictures, content, stuff like that. So. Yeah. So how much emailing, um, how much emailing are you having to do back and forth with these, ex even externals you're talking about? Cause the marketing is a marketing agency you work with. Yeah. Yeah. I pretty much have everybody working through teams now. And if they do send me an email, I have it rerouted to go into teams and I'll respond to them through teams. So yes. Yeah. So, all, so the idea there is everything in one place. I mean, how does that work for communication for everybody? I mean, you can't say you didn't see it because I'm looking at the same thing you're seeing, right? So it's right here. Exactly. If you didn't yeah. see it. And we I had, didn't. we had uh, some team members uh, shuffle around in positions. And so our customers weren't, weren't sure where to send emails to. Mm. So I just went into everybody's email, set up a rule that anything that came with the word you know, whatever the customer's name is, yeah. it just automatically moved into a team that we all had access to so everybody would see it. So we never missed another email again. So never missed was... another email again. Wow. Yeah. And that's from the Teams um, setup that you have. So before you took on the venture of, you know, learning about Teams, I mean, what was your knowledge about the, the possibilities of what you could do? What did you think was possible? I knew nothing about Teams. I had only ever used it before um, for doing like video uh, chats or meetings. Yeah. Um, wasn't a huge fan of Outlook. We were using all Google products. Yeah. And so I've obviously moved everything over to Microsoft 365. I like how it all integrates together. Um, it's super cool apps. Mm -hmm. Every time I think of something, I'm like, oh, I bet you there's an app for that. There's an app for that. A Microsoft yeah. app for that. And it probably plugs into Teams somewhere. Um, yeah. Okay, so you knew nothing about what the potential was, but yet now um, after you know working with me and, and doing your own homework and, and getting into Teams really wholeheartedly, um, how, would, how would you say it's changed how you work and how your business works? It's definitely the first thing that I am opening up on my computer every day. Um, I've got it on my phone. I use it constantly, everything, yeah. all of the time. Um, but do you like it? Do you like it? Is it I, helping you? I do. Yeah. yeah, I love it. I've recommended it to other business owners, friends who are business owners. I've incorporated it. I'm a um, director on my condo corp, so we've created up our own team uh, site to per better communicate with our, our homeowners. For personal use, too. Wow, mm -hmm. there you go. Yeah. Wait, so, so I'm a bit of a bit of a Teams freak now. <laughs> You're a Teams freak. Well, welcome to the club. Yes. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Me and you can have lots of conversations about this. Yeah, it's like you got to use Teams and you got to use it right. So yeah, get it working for you, not against you. Is kind of what I say. But uh, how has it been with the staff? Like bringing them on board, um, getting them into the Teams environment. Uh, were they kicking and screaming to begin with, or did you win them over pretty quickly because of how you set things up? Like how did how did that transition um, go? It went it went pretty smoothly. Um, I find that the people that aren't using it as in depth 
as the office staff are really good with using it because they they're just going on to teams to check something or maybe make a post they're not trying to organize or find things maybe the way the office staff is yeah office staff we definitely i'm glad that i assigned all the training that you provided Mm -hmm. Uh, so on sharepoint uh onenote teams all of that uh i have a new office member and uh he's been doing all of the training and he's like oh michelle i picked this up today like this is so great and i was like yeah see do you see now like yeah so the training is going good but i think that that was really important that we we gave everybody the time to do the training and everybody's really coming around that foundational knowledge is important isn't it and coming from one source too i bet helps because then you're hearing the same message yeah and getting the same sort of uh excitement you know so yeah i get a little excited about what teams can do so so i sent out a i sent out a poll the other day about uh we're thinking about adding some new benefits to our benefits plan yeah i just did a poly poll and said you know what would you prefer this or this or what would be more beneficial in your life and everybody loved it i had all the responses within 15 minutes yeah so a poll yeah using a poll in teams rather than an email or even a post um just Mm -hmm. you know getting getting that because it's more direct like there's so many Mm -hmm. things within teams that are suited for the communication you want to do and so doing it the old way where you're like emailing um it's not needed and it's so much faster so do you think uh, efficiency has come into play Uh, i mean like so i should just let everybody know in case they're wondering i have i'm showing the viper industrial web site because this is your business this is what you do mm-hmm. and yet microsoft teams is become an integral part of it how, how much do you think it's helped just in terms of productivity in the office and uh in, in that um, so with our with our field staff uh the dispatching is so easy that they just we use a uh, an app within teams i can't remember what it's called exactly approvals app i think yeah and yeah every the people that we need to dispatch out we were, had a really hard time keeping track of who was coming going and where and when and what the job was so we just have a little note and you get assigned you know um you'll get a, a message in your team saying i've been assigned to this job and you can go in and hit reply you know yes or no and then you can also we can enter notes in there so we've had that have we have the, that in its own little channel right yeah so it's really clear easy to find so that has been a really big improvement as far as communication and knowing where my staff is so every time somebody goes anywhere i tell them put it into dispatch yeah and that was a problem that we were having just wow. trying to keep track of workers yeah and weren't you saying people were like texting in the middle of the night and stuff like that mm-hmm. as to where am i tomorrow it's like okay yeah 10 o'clock at night if you don't know where you are seven o'clock tomorrow morning we have a little bit of an issue with this dispatch so uh yeah, and that's... constantly i'm like check teams um i had another um worker who was up north needed a code for a gate or something and i was like just type gate code into teams and it popped up and they were like wow wow (laughs) yeah (laughs) so just being able to like have that information out there and uh, being able to just super do a quick search and a previous conversation will pop up and they can find their answers or being able to just post it in a general posting and then everybody in the company has the opportunity to answer if it's something that I don't have time to get to wow. or whatever. So, so everybody, everybody's in the know, aren't they? Isn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it's kind of, how does that help morale in general with the company? It's really good. We, um, we're doing a new campaign uh, just about our safety program. So we're, you know, going to be doing lots of fun posts in teams, you know, treating it almost like a social media account. Mm. So, you know, with uh, just trying to get people, you know, commenting, you know, liking our posts, even though it's just within our small community, it's, oh, it's a neat. good way to keep workers engaged. So we're, we're rolling that out May 1st, looking forward to it. I think it's going to be really fun. <laughs> that, that's going to be fun. Yeah. So that's cool. You, you've actually made teams into a fun thing and a fun program mm-hmm. for that, for the staff to interact with. That's very nice. Yeah. So the safety program you mentioned earlier about there being like uh, huge documents or uh, was it multiple documents, like hundreds of documents that you had? Tell me a little bit about how that's changed. I think- yeah so i'm working uh, i just started working on this the other day so i had all the documents stored in teams and one of my uh supervisors was like oh i can't read the title on the document when i'm in the field it's just on his mobile device was too small okay so yeah. i was like okay i need to find a solution for this yeah which i decided to use the lists app mm-hmm. 
and then just create the list of documents in there and have it hyperlinked to my SharePoint. Yes. But, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it becomes a catalog. Just, so the list app is your catalog of documents yeah. that people can look up um, based on a category or based on mm -hmm. a need they have, and then they can find the document easier. So lists. I mean, how many people yeah. are using Microsoft lists and teams? You, you, people don't even realize yeah. it's, it's part of Microsoft 365. So yeah. I love the lists for integrating and, and giving quick access. So good job on doing that. Yeah, I really, I thought that was great. And just like I said, there's like 500 documents. So trying to, before we have them in folders, mm -hmm. which I've pulled everything out of the folders. Everybody was up in arms. That was a big deal. But I'm like, this will be so much easier. Now we have the, the metadata. So we've got it all categorized by multiple different ways to find a document when you're searching through so many. So Wow. Okay, so metadata. So I think we might be using some terms that some people aren't familiar with, but uh, and folders. So I, I know I did a training session not too long ago, and one of my one of my uh, best practice suggestions was don't use folders so much or subfolders and subfolders. Yeah. And uh, I got a bit of kickback. Some people weren't very happy with my suggestion. They're like, "What are you talking about?" Um, so uh, you're using it in such a way you're organizing your files so you don't need so many subfolders because you're taking advantage of. The metadata is really the columns that is mm -hmm. available to you in the files area of Teams or in the files area of SharePoint, whichever way you want to look at your files. Uh, so you make a column that would have been the folder. So if it was a, a folder that said, you know, 2022, you have a column that says year now and you put the year in there. Yeah, exactly. And I just find you can really drill down the, like I've got month, I've got year, I've got document type, I've got equipment type, I've got customer, I've got vessel, like just everything. So it's so easy to search. Yeah, it takes a little bit of training to show everybody how it works. But yeah. now that um, now that I've done that, everybody's okay. Now I know. Now I know how to find yeah. it. Or, well, yeah, well, because that's super easy. Yeah, and so that's another big complaint I hear, especially in the beginning with Teams, is oh, I can't find anything, or the searching function isn't that great, and and so there is a new search method in Teams. But part of it is just build it differently. Don't build it like your folder system. Build it different. Yeah. Use take yeah. advantage of like you're like you've done um, the metadata so that you now group things and now you filter things so you don't need to search as much as then that's kind of what you're saying I think too is that yeah. it's not as yeah. needed because you've built it uh, around that yeah and that. it's doing the legwork once and then once you've got it all set up it's so easy to use Okay, so let's maybe close with this, Michelle. If a company similar to yours or in any industry really um, is using Microsoft Teams to work with their staff, uh, wh what would be your recommendation for them to be successful in, in using this application? I think that doing the training is really important. Um, having the support from you, because we did a lot of meetings, I think for six, I don't know, it was a long time, Yeah, maybe six months. Yeah. And but just having that um, somebody that I know that I could ask a question and if you didn't know the answer, you would get me the answer. Yeah. I still go back to our team that we have and I pulled some information about permissions the other day and shared it with a coworker. So I think just, you know, putting the time in to understand the program and how it can work. And then once you start getting into it, you start going, oh, yeah, I could do this. I could do this. I could do right. this. Like, yeah. It's so efficient. It's so just, exciting, right? So yeah. exciting. Yeah. Yeah. And then that and that's uh, worth maybe repeating there. I mean, when I'm when working with clients like Michelle, you know, we, we do the foundational training, which is all um, self study through the online training program. So people can take the training at, at their own pace. But then I work specifically with the leaders of the organization to design the team's environment. And I'm available to them through a team. We have a team together. So you can reach out to me at any time time and I actually I think I've done some videos for you in fact some of those videos are probably on my YouTube channel now I love getting the questions from my clients because it makes me better at helping clients because then I see oh that's a good perspective well, okay that's a different situation and so uh, uh, it's it's kind of win-win for both of us when, when we have that uh, back and forth isn't it yeah and I think that without it the teams is just so huge that you would really you would need, you need some support just to kind of find out where to start and then how you can build and yeah, then you and, can kind of yeah how to build it and then focus in on the priorities of that build right so yeah 
Yeah. No, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, no and thank you for uh, watching. You guys can put in the comments some of the things that you picked up or any questions that you might have further for Michelle, and I can certainly get them to you if you have, or if you have questions about um, what um, training I, I um, provide, um, please uh, let me know. So thanks. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.